let's start from the beginning again, Jeff. Tell me everything you saw. And what you think it means. Mr. and Mrs. Lars. That's L-A-R-S. Lars Thorwald. What's the number of the apartment house? 125 West 9th Street. Uh, well, thank you, dear. Okay, Chief, what's my next assignment? Let's go home. All right. But what's he doing now? He's just sitting in the living room in the dark. Hasn't gone near the bedroom. All right, now you go home and get some sleep, huh? Good night. Now, look, Dora, it's just something I can't tell you over the telephone. You have to be here and see the whole setup. Important, huh? Yeah, well, there's probably nothing important at all. It's just a little neighborhood murder that... You say murder, Jeff? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did say murder. Oh, God. You know, what my only thought was throwing a little business your way, that's all. Uh, I figured a good detective would jump at the chance of something to detect. I'm not working. What? It happens to be my day off. Well, I usually took my best pictures on my day off. I'll drop by. Okay, Dora. As soon as you can. Well, oh, bless your heart, Stella. Gee, please, look at this. I can't tell you what a welcome sight this is. Huh? No wonder your husband still loves you. The police. What? You called the police. Well, not exactly. No, it's not an official call. It's just an old friend of mine. An old, ornery friend of mine. Just where do you suppose he cut her up? Of course. The bathtub. That's the only place where he could have washed away the blood. You better get that trunk out of there before it starts to leak. Look, Mr. Jeffries. I thought Doyle would be here by the time the trunk left or I'd call the police. Now we're going to lose it. Look. Hold everything. Well, don't do anything foolish. I'm just going to get the name off that freight truck. I'll keep an eye on the alley. Didn't see the killing or the body. How do you know there was a murder? Because everything this fellow's done has been suspicious. Trips at night in the rain, and knives, and saws, and trunks with rope, and now this wife that isn't there anymore. I admit it all has a mysterious sound. Could be any number of things. Murders are the least possible. Now, Doyle, don't tell me he's an unemployed magician amusing the neighborhood with his sleight of hand. Now, don't tell me that. It's too obvious and stupid a way to commit murder. Full view of 50 windows? Then sit over there smoking a cigar, waiting for the police to come and pick him up? All right, officer, do your duty. Go over and pick him up. 
Jeff, you've got a lot to learn about homicide. Why, morons have committed murder so shrewdly it's taken a hundred trained police minds to catch them. That salesman wouldn't just knock his wife off after dinner and toss her in the trunk and put her in storage. I'll bet it's been done. Most everything's been done. Under panic. This is a thousand to one shot. But he's still sitting around the apartment. That man's not panicked. You think I made all this up? Well, I think you saw something. There's probably a very simple explanation for it. For instance? Mm, wife took a trip. His wife was sick in bed. Yeah, so he told me. Well, Jeff, I've got to run along. I won't report this to the department. Let me poke into it a little on my own. No such thing. You're getting a lot of ridiculous publicity. Thank you. Uh, we know the wife is gone, so I'll see if I can find out where. Do that. You uh, had any headaches lately? Not until you showed up. Uh, it'll wear off, along with hallucinations. See you around.